Season's greetings from the Government Information Service. May the blessings of the season last throughout 2010. Fellow Canadians, as Minister for Labour, Social Security and Ecclesiastical Affairs, I bring to you the people of Grenada, Carrico and Petit Martinique warm Christmas greetings. The people in the constituency of St. George Southeast must be given special Christmas greetings for the trust and confidence they have placed in me. On July 8, 2008, they unanimously elected me to the House of Parliament and gave me this wonderful opportunity to serve you and this beautiful nation of ours. I reiterate my pledge to serve you with distinction, integrity and honesty and to work with you to build our communities and by extension our nation. For this holy season, let me wish all employers, workers and labour organisations in this country a warm and cheerful Christmas season. Let me say on behalf of the Ministry of Labour how happy we were working with you, representative of these organizations. Over 90% of the disputes that came to the ministry in the last year were amicably settled. This is one area of work that the ministry is very proud of, and we have recognized this as one of the main reasons for the stable and peaceful industrial relations that the country now enjoys. I would like to pay special tribute to all workers of this nation as we continue to grapple with this global financial crisis. As we all know, 2009 has been a very difficult year for a nation, and in particular our workers, some of whom have lost their jobs. Although the crisis was not created by Grenada or any of the developing countries, we have all had to cope with, its, with it by making some serious adjustment in these rough times. We must be proactive and learn to explore opportunities in the midst of this deep economic and financial crisis. Fellow Grenadians, the Ministry of Labour will no doubt continue to thrive on the principle of tripartism. We will ensure that the employers, workers and the government of Grenada, Carrico and Piti Martinique continue to work hand in hand to ensure that a good industrial relation climate is maintained. To all religious institutions in this country, let me wish you a Merry Christmas and a bright and prosperous New Year. There is no doubt that the Church plays a significant role in lifting the moral values in our Christian society. I acknowledge the valuable contribution you've made in the past and continue to make. Let me also appeal to you to keep your guard up as the states try to preserve and uphold the high moral values on which our country is built. At this time when moral decadence and deviant behavior are threatening our society, I urge you to be vigilant. Let me also wish the staff and clients of the National Insurance Scheme a Merry Christmas and a bright and prosperous New Year. In this area of financial crisis the world over, the NIS has been able to float with its head held high above water. It is in this hour of crisis that the difference between you and the others are most conspicuous. Keep up your good work in 2010. And let me wish the staff in the Ministry of Labour a bright, a happy, prosperous and New Year. You have been most supportive to me and the other new member of our staff, as the new kids on the block. I have no doubt that together we can make a difference as we aspire to make 2010 the best year that the Ministry of Labour has ever experienced. I want to assure you all that the Ministry of Labour has an open door policy. My ministry and this government led by Prime Minister Tillman Thomas are committed to working with you for the further development of our nation. Once again I say Merry Christmas and a bright and prosperous new year to all workers, employers and labour organisations. I urge you to remember the reason for the season, the birth of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. In the true spirit of Christmas, I encourage every one of us that when we celebrate God's gift to us of His Son to the world, that those of us who are more fortunate to consider the less fortunate than ourselves and extend Christmas cheer by giving of ourselves and our material possession, that in everything we do put Christ first. May God continue to bless all Canadians at home and abroad and also a beautiful nation in this new year. Merry Christmas. Have a happy new year.
Season's greetings from the Government Information Service. May the blessings of the season last throughout 2010.